Blessed day everyone sa lahat ng nakikinig at nanonood sa ating mga platforms for CARE 104.3 The Way FM. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Ako po si Lani Lane Okubina, your sister from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. So uh, let's go. Let's talk about missions today, kapatid. So our topic is about how to care for missionaries. Mm-hmm. Kailangan ba ng support ng ating mga kapatid na missionaries whether the, we are talking about uh, those who are working in the UPGs sa uh, local tribes in the Philippines or those who are abroad in foreign harvest fields. Narinig nyo na po ba yung mga ito? Tayo nga sa sarili nating church, kailangan natin ng support. Paano pa kaya tayo magsusupport sa mga missionaries? O kaya yung unahin muna natin yung dito sa local church natin bago tayo sumuporta sa mga missionaries. O kaya yung mayaman naman sila, nasa ibang bansa naman sila. Kumbaga, nasa greener pastures sila. Kaya nila yan. Tayo nga dapat ang isupport nila kasi dollars naman ang meron sila doon sa ibang bansa. <laughs> yung iba naman sabi, Masarap kaya ang buhay ng mga missionaries doon sa ibang bansa. Kaya na nila yan. So, nakakalungkot po yung mga ganitong bagay na maririnig natin sa ibang kapatid. Dahil sa totoo lang po, hindi kasing perfect ng iniisip ng iba ang buhay ng mga kapatid natin kamanggagawa. No, yun sila po yung mga tinawag na mag-serve away from home. Ang totoo po nito ay eh, maraming stress na kinakaharap din ang mga missionaries and they need a lot of support as much as the local ministers that we have sa Pilipinas. Uh, isipin na lang po natin yung culture shock, yung transitioning sa field para po yung uh, major camping ba? Alam niyo po, yun yung mga Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts pa po tayo. Nag-camping uh, tayo. So, nag-impake tayo ng mga gamit natin. Nag-prepare tayo. And, uh, grabbing preparations yung ginagawa. And, uh, depende po sa intensity nung, nung hirap na, pup- na pupuntahan si bundok ba yun or uh, whatever uh, challenging uh, place that you're going to. So, depende doon yung training din na ginagawa. At kung ano-ano pa yung kailangan bago pumunta doon sa lugar. Kung saan tinawag yung missionaries. Kumbaga, para kang aakyat nga ng matarik na bundok. Uh, Mount Mayon, sabihin natin, naakyatin natin yan. Diba? Hindi, hindi yon biro. Naakyat tayo sa vulkan na yun. O kaya naman yung mas mataas, yung Mount Apo or... Uh, Say Mount Everest is ito yung pinakamataas na bundok ano sa mundo uh, above sea level. Hindi kataga doon pero dahil kailangan mo pumunta, kailangan mong maging um, handa. And while our missionaries face a lot of stress, lingid sa kaalaman ng iba na isang major thing din ang mental health actually ng karamihan sa kanila. Naalala ko may uh, mga friends din akong missionaries. They, when they go for a furlough, so nasabi natin before na ang furlough is uh, when a missionary goes back to his or her uh, home country just to take rest from the stress sa mission field. Kasi kailangan din umuwi paminsan-minsan. Especially when you're raising funds from your home country. Ang magandang example po dito yung karamihan ng mga Western missionaries like the Americans. Um, some of my American missionary friends, they go back to the US para pumunta sa kanilang home churches at doon magre-raise ng funds. And actually, it's easy for, for the American missionaries to do that. Although hindi ko po nila lahat, but uh, most of them, most likely are uh, easily raising their funds by going to their home churches, 
they preach there, they talk about their uh, experiences, a mission field, and then uh, they get the offering from the church. And uh, for that whole time na sila po ay makapag uh, spend ng furlough na yon sa home country, they will be able to raise enough funds to support their ministry the on for the whole year uh one year support ano yung funds na nakailanganin sa buong year which is uh somehow different from us Filipino missionaries we do tent making dito sa mission field uh hindi ganoon kadali yung gawi, ginagawa ng ating mga kapatid na American missionaries na gawin na natin sa Pilipinas, hindi hindi sa lahat ng context sa churches ay ganoon yung nangyayari. So, ibang-iba. Nabanggit po natin kanina yung mental health, ano, kasi naalala ko yung iba kong uh, American missionaries then when they go for a furlough, aside from raising their funds, they, the first thing that they do when they get to their home countries is they go to their um, counseling uh, ministry or at times they really go to a psychologist for their uh, regular counseling. Napaka-importante po actually nito para sa mga missionaries ang counseling dahil ang mental health I usually nagkakaroon ng effect ano po yung yung mga pangyayari sa mission field para po yung ano eh yung kapag may mga armies di ba po na sumasabak sa wars and then after the war they have this thing called PTSD which is post traumatic syndrome if i have said it right So, parang ganun din po ang ating mga missionaries na sumasabak sa battlefield that when we go home, we have this particular uh, things going on in our minds na kailangan din po i-address. So, uh, that's just one of the very important things to consider para po sa ating mga missionaries. Nawa po hindi ako na misinterpret ng nating na ng ating mga kapatid ano po na palagi ko pong itinataas ang ang international ministries or missions. We are not uh, downplaying the importance of local ministries. Ano po para it's time that we the church should give equal attention, I believe if not greater attention to missions and reckon with our missionaries there. I always believe that all of us in the body of Christ are missionaries since we are all into this great commission um, of Christ. We just have our own functions. Sorry, functions. Some are goers, senders, intercessors, welcomers, and so forth. Ano palagi po natin itong nababanggit? So right now, if you're asking or saying, Sige na nga, tulungan natin ang missionaries. Paano ba yan? Paano ba gagawin? <laughs> Baka napipilitan pa ano. <laughs> Pero hindi naman. So totoo lang po kapatid, I think for you to better understand the nature of being a missionary, It is best that you go for an exposure trip. Actually, it's one of the best ways to understand talaga. Isa din to sa mga paraan para makapag-support tayo sa missionaries. O, oh, sige, ito na nga. Isa-isahin natin. Actually, meron tayong nine ways to care for missionaries. And uh, this is according to mtw.org na sinulat uh, ng isang writers doon itong article niya. Si Miss Laura Doherty. So, sabi niya doon, the first one, first way to help the missionaries is to raise a strong prayer base for them. Missionaries need a lot of prayer warriors, set up times for small groups, Sunday school classes, or entire congregations to pray 
with missionaries via a video call, organize a 24-hour prayer chain when missionaries are launching a new ministry, encourage each family from your church to pray daily together for a specific missionary family. Napakahalaga po ng ating prayer and uh, um, sa Word of God, ano po, sa Bible, lagi po yan sinasabi sa atin, pinapaunawa sa atin na uh, it is the will of God for His children or for the church, for the body of Christ to pray together. So for our missionaries, we, we can do that. Ano po, we can gather people, kahit small group lang po. Um, if you can invite some people, or a prayer partner, perhaps dalawa lang kayo, or more than that, you can pray together for a particular missionary and for that specific people group that they are serving. And uh, always remember them. Maybe give a time for a certain day. Ano po, dedicate that time to pray for that particular missionary or mission ministry. Yeah, even in the congregations po, no, sa churches, napakaganda po siguro makita na ang isang church ay devoted to pray for missionaries. So, isa po yan. Raise a strong prayer base for them. Napakahalaga po ng panalangin para sa ating mga missionaries. So, pangalawa po, network with potential prayer and financial partners. Ito po sabi ni Ms. Laura, as new missionary, you set out to raise up ministry partners, sending churches often prove to be an invaluable help in connecting with groups of people who the Lord is raising up to be senders. Consider helping your missionary network with Sunday school classes and small groups in your own church and parachurch ministries connected to your church. Introduce them to your neighbors, friends, local philanthropists, and entrepreneurs. This will help shoulder the burden missionaries face while, re- while raising support. It also further demonstrates to your missionary and others who may be watching that you are a partner in their call and mission. So, very important po ang financial support then. Of course, they are away from home. Some missionaries are tent makers. But uh, sa experience po namin dito sa Cambodia, may many times, uh, it's really, really hard na nag-work and then at the same time, nag, uh, nag-village ministries. Sobrang nakakapagod po. But of course, we draw our strength from the Lord. It is our joy when we see ourselves fulfilling the calling. Pero, syempre po, ito ay katawang lupa lamang. Ano po napapagod din. So, may iba po tayong mga kapatid na missionaries. They go full-time. Praise the Lord. Kasi nabibigyan po sila ng opportunity to do that. And that's because of the senders who have responded to the call of the Lord para po sa kanila maging uh, part po sila ng missionary work na yun. And this is uh, what we have been talking about dito po sa pangalawa. We have to raise a network of financial partners. Pero uh, may naalala lang po ako nun. May nakakalungkot pong na-share sa akin ng isang missionary dito na may isa daw pong church na uh, they... They are willing to support the missionary. Pero ayaw nilang sumuporta sa missionary na d- meron ng ibang nagsusupport. Parang nakakalungkot po yung ganun. Siyempre, yes, we, we pray about it. Namimili tayo, perhaps. But let us make sure that we listen intently to the Lord. Na hindi tayo nakabase sa, sa factors na iyon. Nakabase tayo sa factors na ibinibigay ng Panginoon na doon ba tayo talaga tinatawag ng Panginoon na sumuporta sa mission na yon? So, it is not us who's going to dictate whom to support, but it is the Lord. So, yun po, napaka-importante po ng financial partners. 
And uh, if you feel like the Lord is calling you to be a sender, na po, sending, sending uh, financial support, then pray more about it and pray harder kung saan ka talaga gusto gamitin ng Panginoon. And again, it's not you who's going to decide. It is the Lord who's going to decide. Ayan, dito po tayo sa pangatlo. The third one is host a send-off party. Hmm, sounds fun. A missionary finals, I mean, a missionary's final weeks in their home country before departing for the field can be stressful due to the logistics of moving. And yet, it is incredibly important for them to have good time with those close to them before they leave. Sending churches have blessed their missionaries greatly by hosting a send-off party. A party can bless your missionary as it relieves pressure to meet individually with every friend and supporter. This allows the missionary to invite anyone they wish to see before leaving. So, uh, somehow, we give value also to this send, sending off to the missionary. Kasi kung sa iba nga, nagpapadispedida tayo, no? Paano na lang kaya sa isang missionary na haharap sa napaka-tinding battle sa mission field? It's really something to be thought about kapag po tayo ay may mga paalis na missionaries bigyan naman po natin sila ng ng magandang despedida party ano po uh, something that they can uh, think about the memories na bago siya umalis malay po natin hindi na, nawa naman ay hindi mangyari pero may times po di ba maaring yun na pala yung last na makita natin siya kasi hindi po natin alam kung ano po mangyayari sa kanya sa mission field, lalo na kung sa mga hostile countries siya pupunta, gaya ng Iraq, ng Iran, di ba? Lalo na yung may marami na po ngayong mga wars. Paano po kung doon po siya pupunta? And uh, yeah, anything can happen. So, let's um, make it a point na maximize natin yung time bago man lamang umalis ang ating missionary. Kadugtong po doon yung number four, help them move. There are many ways to help a missionary juggle the logistics of moving to a different country. Lend a hand in getting their house ready by helping pack. No? Kung marami, marami-rami yung gagawin nila, ano po yung dadalhin. Pero ang iba naman, usually, isa, dalawang maleta lang po. So, uh, help them clean their home before or after they move. And additionally, gifting boxes, suitcases, meals, or restaurant gift cards. Yan, mga ano, uh, suggestions na pwede nating ibigay sa ating mga missionaries. Hindi naman po ito para i-spoil ang ating missionaries. Ano. It's just part of our uh, encouraging them and letting them know that we've got their back. At uh, bilang kapatid, tayo po ay sumusuporta sa kanila and we just want the best for them. And uh, we value them, letting them feel that we value them. So, panglima naman po yung maintain regular contact. So, once na nandoon na yung ating kapatid na missionary, so, always, ano, mga musta po tayo. It's a big thing. It gives a lot of, ano ba yun? Yung sinasabi, dopamine ba yun? Yung <laughs> sa happy hormones. There's many times... A missionary will feel alone and homesick, lonely. Although, ginagawa naman yung, yung work para sa Panginoon. But then, it's still different when we get encouragement from our brothers and sisters back home. So, yung simpleng kamusta, hindi mo alam kapatid kung ano yung epekto nun sa isang missionary. So, go ahead. Siguro kung hawak mo ngayon ng cellphone mo at may naisip kang isang missionary, go ahead, text text that missionary right now. And uh, I tell you, napakalaking uh, epekto nito sa kanyang puso kapag ginawa mo ito. Mer, ang atin namang pang-anim, sabi po dito, visit them on the field. Ayan, medyo yamanin po siguro ang <laughs> mga ilang kapatid natin dyan kung meron po kayong budget, no? 
But uh, God willing, the Lord will provide for you. It's really good that you pay a visit for them. Number seven is to support them during home assignment. Home assignments can be stressful times of constant travel, speaking engagements, lots of fast food, doctor's appointments, and attempts to, attempts to cover bases back on the field from afar. Coming alongside missionaries to care for them physically and emotionally while they are on home assignment truly incarnates the gospel to them in a refreshing way. Beyond housing and transportation, they are, there are countless ways you can encourage missionaries on home assignment. They take them out to coffee or for a meal, offer vacation homes, gift a gym or cost yeah gift a gym or invite them to bible studies or provide professional counseling so nabanggit din po natin ito kanina ano po kunyari may umuwi po na missionary sa furlough let's treat them siguro kung babae treat natin sa salon no? kapag foot spa ganyan massage or manicure pedicure no? magandang missionary care po ito let's take an extra mile to support our missionaries by reaching out to their families in the philippines yung mga naiwan po nilang pamilya especially kung hindi naman po sila ganoon kayaman ng mga missionaries ano po let's support also their families siguro uh, a bag of groceries for them na malaking bagay na po yun sa mga missionaries or kung mayaman naman po sila, siguro yung fellowship with the family, napakalaking impact po noon sa ating mga kapatid na missionaries, kagaanan sa kanilang puso. Actually, this is normal for, for the body of Christ to do. Mga kapatid, ano po, we, we care for each other. So, ganun din po ang ating gawin sa ating mga missionaries, sa families po nila. And for the final one, ang sabi po dito... Number nine, help them reassimilate into their own culture. Alam niyo po kapag ang missionary ay napunta na sa mission field, meron po yung culture shock sa pagda-drive, sa pagtawid, kasi iba yung mga road rules and uh, yung language, yung pagkain, yung buong kultura, pangkalahatan ay sobrang nakaka-culture shock. Ngayon kung ang missionary po ay nagtagal sa lugar na iyon ng ilang years at bumalik sa Pilipinas, nagkakaroon po ng reverse culture shock. So, isa pong paraan para matulungan natin ang mga missionaries ay kapag umuwi po sila sa Pilipinas, so, alalayan po natin sila. Alalayan natin sa pagharap uh, muli sa culture na mayroon tayo sa Pilipinas. Nagdudulot din po ito ng stress and anxiety sa ating mga missionary. So let's let's lend a hand for this missionaries coming home. Yan po ang ating sham na paraan upang makatulong, makasuporta sa ating missionary. So just a recap. Number one, raise a strong prayer base for them. Number two, network with potential prayer and financial partners. Three, host a send-off party for them. Four, help them move. Five, maintain regular contact. Six, visit them on the field. Seven, support them during home assignment. Number eight, care for their family members. And nine, help them assimilate into their own culture, in the Filipino culture. So there, there are actually some additional ways to include in this nine. Ano po, pero somehow these are some of the best suggestions that we can have. Always uh, make sure that when we do all of these things, we offer it for the Lord. We bring glory to the Lord. Yung pag-ibig na binibigay po natin sa bawat misyonaryo, ito po ay dahil sa, na din sa pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin. And always remember na uh, you cannot wait for yourself to be perfect para lang ikaw ay makapag-serve din sa isang kapatid. Hindi po yun ganun. I believe if you have Jesus in you, 
that's enough reason for us to serve our brothers and sisters. It's uh, the heart that Jesus has for us, I believe, is enough for us to show appreciation for these workers. Kahit ikaw din mismo ay may mga pinagdadaanan ka, don't worry. Because I believe you are also, you are called to be an encouragement for others, even if your life as a worker yourself is not perfect. Again, let's do all this thing with love, in love, and of course, in Christ. And uh, mahalaga ka, kapatid, sa paningin ng Panginoon at gusto kanyang gamitin para maging encouragement sa ating mga kapatid na missionaries. So, before we end, let us pray. Aming Diyos, Ama na nasa langit, kami po ay nagpupuri, sumasamba at nagpapasalamat sa iyong kabutihan, sa iyong pag-ibig, at sa iyong habag sa bawat isa sa amin. Kami ay lumalapit sa inyo ngayon, itinataas ang bawat simbahan, that in your will, all of us, will have the same heart for missions as you do. Your vision for the world, may it be the vision for all churches as the body of Christ. Lord, help us to understand more each other and may we help each other. Give us the wisdom and strength how the strong will help the weak, giving glory to you, our Father in heaven. Lord, we pray for our missionary brothers and sisters, especially those who are in deep stress and danger. We pray for the financial needs. We trust that as you have called them for your, I mean, you have called them, your provision will be upon them as they continue to walk in your will and do your will. You can see everything and we trust that you are with them, guiding them their every step guiding giving them the words that they speak to the very people that you want them to reach out you are a powerful and sovereign god and so we do not have to worry we just ask lord that you guide us on how to support each other as it is your will that your children will live in harmony peace and unity towards your very goal for your bride, the church. May your will be done, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and may your name be praised and worshipped even to the ends of the earth. Amen. God bless po, mga kapatid. Turn, turn over ko na po kay Mamsi.